Well, Ethan back tonight with another beer review, and what I've got today is Bebo, Bebo, Bibo, Bebo Pilsner from Creature Comforts Brewing out of Athens, Georgia. I've had a number of Creature Comfort beers over the years. They say this one is crisp and dry, classic, noble Pilsner. 4.9% alcohol by volume. Um, canned on date was December 15th, 2023, so pretty fresh, just a little over a month ago. Best Buy, April 15th, 2024, so still really fresh. It was just canned just right before Christmas, and here we are in early February. Uh, got the tulip glass, the big round tulip glass. Let's go ahead and get a pour. Uh, this one gets an 88 on Beer Advocate. A very good, which for a Pilsner is quite high. Make sure we get it all in there. It's a wide brimmed glass, so not as much head, about a one finger head. Ascending bubbles. The appearance is pale, hazy yellow. It's not really the clear golden like a um, American adjunct lager would be. A-A-L. Very nice aroma. Um, I'm getting a malty sweetness on the aroma. Really pleasant aroma. Faint, but it is there. I can detect it. Um, yeah, I got the I got this at Trader Joe's um, about two weeks ago. So it's been in the fridge for little bit but uh, the reason I got it is you know I don't see a lot of craft pilsners you know creature comforts probably more known for their IPAs or sours or pale ales and probably stouts I've never been to the brewery um, it's in Athens which is pretty far from me about a two-hour drive pretty much across the state the top part of the state uh, of Georgia um, but you never been, but I thought it was kind of interesting that, you know, as a craft Pilsner, you don't see that a lot. So a lighter 4.9% Pilsner, don't see that often. So I got the single, I believe it was like a dollar and some change. But uh, yeah, excited to try it. 4.9, very sessionable, looks very light, looks very refreshing. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so very nice flavor. Um, almost has like a lemon. A little bitterness, more bitterness than like a, you know, a Pabst, a Miller High Life, a Coors, a, a, a Bud. That's really good though. It's light and the mouthfeel is light. Light to medium. It's light, um, like a, an American adjunct lager, but there's a little more character here. There's a little more flavor. There's a little more lemon, bitterness, maybe maltiness. How I would describe it is Miller High Life is over here, Pale Ales are over here, this one's right in the middle. It's not quite as bland as a Miller High Life, not quite as bitter and fruity as like a Pale Ale, you know, like a 6% Pale Ale or something. It's kind of in that middle ground, kind of between the two, kind of has characteristics of both. It's really good though. I mean, I could see somebody drinking this on a really hot day, which it's not today. It's really cold here in February, but spring is just around the corner for the Southeast, so we're almost there. Um, 
the older I get, the less and less I like winter. When I was young, I used to really like winter, especially if it snowed. But if it doesn't snow, I have no no use for winter. I'm ready for summer. Like, let's just go ahead and do it. I love snow. I love playing in it. I love, you know, throwing snowballs and acting like a little kid, a big kid. But if we're not going to get any snow here in North Georgia, I'm ready for spring and summer. Bring it on. I'm ready for 80 and sitting outside. I would rather do beer reviews outside, honestly, but it's cold and it's, you know, it gets dark pretty early. Although we are getting, the days are getting longer and longer little by little, so... Yeah, I say bring on summer, and this is something that you would drink, or I, myself, would drink in summer. Very refreshing, very light, very crisp. Be a great pool beer, a great beach beer, a great lake beer. Whatever you want to do, whatever you are doing, this would, um, it would fit that really well, I think. Yeah, um, 88 for Beer Advocate. I'm going to go one more than that, one tick higher, 89. I think it's a really good, solid B+, plus, borderline A Pilsner from Creature Comforts. Cheers, and thank you for watching this beer review.